Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Thursday. Today is day four of the Newton's Nook Designs January release reveal and I get to share with you two brand new stamp sets that are going to be available tomorrow. Be sure and check it out. I'll leave a link to Newton's Nook Design shop down below. But they're smaller 3x4 stamp sets. These are the last two in the brand new January release. Um, this one here is is called Newton's Valentine. So sweet. I love when my kitties lay on their bellies. Um, typically they don't like their tummies rubbed, but their tummies are so soft. I like to rub them and sometimes they attack me. And note that's what you'll see little uh, wounds on my hands when I'm crafting. That's what this little guy reminded me of is when he's on his little belly or is when he's on his back and his belly's up, he's holding his little Valentine. And then there's a cute little birdie on top of the Valentine. So cute. But anyway, there is a coordinating die set, which is fantastic, which makes the price point great because it is a smaller set. There's also another 3x4 stamp set called Newton's Crafty Cardio, and it is so cute. Great for our crafty friends, guys. There's scissors and, and tape and crafty accents. And then there's Newton, and he's wearing his little craft apron, and he is creating a project. <laughs> so sweet. The sentiment in this set says crafting is my cardio and also feline meow debated. How cute is that? And again, there are coordinated dice for this set also, which is great. Super cute. So let's make some projects. We're going to make two cards with one card with each of these stamp sets. Um, we're going to start off with Newton's Valentine. We're going to stamp him with um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink on some um, Nina 80 pound cardstock. Both of these are uh, alcohol marker friendly. I'm going to color in um, Newton. I wanted, wanted to be white today, so it was very easy to color in, but I did skip the coloring, guys. All week long, I've been sharing projects, and so I wanted to um, keep it kind of short. So to do that, I colored in the evening. <laughs> so, um, but I stamped a little flower that was in the set also. I wanted the little birdie to be holding a flower. And then I used the coordinating dies. Um, we're just going to tape them down and die cut out our images. I already separated them with my nippers, but um, you just line them up, tape them, and run them through the die cut machine. But isn't, isn't he so cute? <laughs> I love that little birdie on that heart. So cute. Okay, while I'm die cutting, we're going to do a little bit more. I'm going to create a background. We're going to use the Frameworks um, uh, die set. I'm going to use the second largest. It's a real pretty scalloped edge frame. And that's going to be my background panel. I think it's dainty and it kind of goes with my um, my little Newton there. I'm also going to take another piece of white cardstock and I wanted some clouds. We're going to create a nice cloudy background, but um, I didn't want stitch detail on my clouds. So I thought this is Newton's Nook's um, speech bubble die set and the fluffy speech bubble here created the perfect cloud. So I got three of them out. Nice way to improvise on our dies. But I just taped down the scalloped edges off of my panel. I didn't want to uh, color in those with some clouds. So I just used post-it note tape and I covered it up to the uh, stitch line. Now we're going to take the Newton's Nook Designs um, cloud stencil and we are just going to shift it and twist it and turn it and create a nice soft cloudy background using my blending brush and some Distress Oxide ink. This is tumbled glass, so it's a very pale background. Um, I was going for a very dainty and soft look, and I think with that scalloped edge and a very soft background with the clouds, it looks very, um, very soft, and I like that. So my background's done. Got nice fluffy clouds there. We're going to remove our tape here. And you know what, guys? You can just roll this back up on your tape roll, and the tape is great for another use. <laughs> so there's my background. Okay, we're going to take two of the clouds. We're going to layer them both together because I wanted um, Newton to be floating on the clouds. <laughs> so we'll add foam tape behind them both, layer them together. And then um, for our third cloud, I wanted to stamp the sentiment. For this card, I chose a sentiment that says, you're a perfect friend. And I'm just stamping with my black ink. And it, it fits the cloud just perfectly. 
we're going to just flip this over and add foam adhesive behind this, add a little bit of dimension to our panel. And then this is going to go off to the right. And I like overhanging the clouds off of my panel. I just think it adds extra interest. Okay, I went ahead and popped up my panel, placed it directly on my A2 size card base, along with a little Newton. And then I wanted the little birdie to be holding a flower. So I added tape behind my flower and we're going to place the the stem of the flower in the bird's mouth. Well, kind of, sort of, um, close enough <laughs> to the, to the birdie's mouth. It was kind of hard because there was a white edge on the die cut, but for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to go in with my Nouveau glitter drops and, um, white blizzard. And I was going to leave it at that, but I wanted a little bit more sparkle. I wanted it to be nice. And since it was very soft background, I needed something to make it pop a little bit. So I'm bringing in some larger, um, iridescent glitter flakes. I just sprinkled a little bit right over my um, glitter glue and then I'm going to tap off the excess. This way it'll just stick to the glitter glue. Um, the glitter glue had real fine glitter in it and we wanted big chunks. So I just added some extra sparkle that way. And then that finishes off card number one with Newton's Valentine. Now we're going to move along to Newton's Crafty Cardio. The stamp set is so sweet. I'm going to take some white cardstock. And we're going to stamp Newton. Um, he is so cute. I mean, I, he was, he's wearing a little crafting apron and he even has his little um, headband to match. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Okay. He stamped with my black ink and then we're going to stamp the accessories to Newton here. We're going to stamp basically six, five, six times for each one. There's a pencil, which I didn't end up using, but that's okay. Um, there's the scissors, which are so sweet. And there's uh, the coordinating die set. We'll die cut out each of these smaller elements too. Um, but there's also the little um, paper clip. Or, you know, this could be also a stamp too. One of those wood stamps. Um, but I stamped that a few times. And then I'm also going to stamp the washi tape a few times. Now I colored in all my images. And then I also um, die cut them out with the coordinating dies. So they were ready to go. Now, once we have um, this ready to go, I cut out a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to use one of those wash, um, uh, post-it note tapes that I had used for our first card. And I'm going to line it up on my background panel at a diagonal. And then I'm going to add dots of glue. I wanted to create a background using all these little accents with the die cut pieces that I cut out. So we're going to create a diagonal line with the scissors. We're just evenly spacing them and gluing them directly on our panel. And then um, I realized that my Newton was hanging off too much. So I popped him up, put him back on my panel with um, foam adhesive. So he's already secure, ready to go. And then I put him more closer towards the center of the panel. This way he's not overhanging. I realized my, my background panel is going to be pretty large and I didn't want to have to trim him down. He was too cute to trim. <laughs> okay, so my scissors are all adhered. I add a few on top and then a few at a, um, on the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and add our washi tape. And again, I'm using that post-it note tape as a guide. Um, I use the left side and the right side just to evenly space them. After my washi tape's adhered, we're going to pick up our post-it note tape and place it right above our pink washi tape. This way we can use it as a guide again. And then we're going to add our um, paper closures. And then I think we're just going to do three rows. We're not going to add our pencils. I think that was um, plenty busy. Um, in that bottom right corner, I went ahead and stamped my sentiment that says crafting is my cardio. Stamped it with black ink. And then... Um, we're just going to flip the panel over, add foam adhesive behind here, add a little dimension, pop it up and place it on our A2 size card base right in the center. And then for bells and whistles, we're just going to add a little glitter to this card. I'm just going to use some iridescent glitter um, all over my little crafty tools and a little bit over little Newton's crafty area. And then that completes my second project today, guys. So this completes all of my projects using the brand new January release. 
um, for Newton's Nook Designs. Um, the release will go live tomorrow at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. Um, link is down below if you guys want to check it out. Super fun items, guys. I hope um, this inspires you and gives you some creative ideas on how to use the um, brand new pro uh, projects or products in the new release. <laughs> and there's a chance to win each one of these stamp sets that I shared with you today, guys. Um, details for that are over on my blog. In fact, all week long, there's a chance to win a stamp set for the corresponding blog post. So just follow the rules and you could be a lucky winner. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I wish you a fabulous day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.